Hello my shining stars, Gemini. Here is your horoscope for November 2023. On the 2nd of November, we will have Jupiter go oppose the sun. It means that you might miss some important opportunities. That's why if you think that you have some opportunities life-changing in the beginning of the month, take them. If you will not take them, they will teach you a lesson also you might hear some news connected with your father or father-like figure the advice of this aspect do not stress out whatever happens in your life calm down do not make fast decisions on the 4th of november a saturn will go direct in your house 10 it was retrograde since uh, march 17th if you had any obstacles or problems connected with promotion, status, publicity or fame, it will go forward fast and it, you will have green light from universe to achieve everything you want. Saturn is the planet of discipline, order and responsibility. Few things will on hold for you since March 17th. Maybe you were waiting for a grant, maybe you were waiting for a foreign passport or maybe for certificate of some sort. After 4th of November you will receive it. It's also time of second chances because Saturn from retrograde will move direct in the same degrees and the same house 10. We also have some aspects of other planets. For example, Venus will go in opposition to Neptune it means that it's better to postpone any legal, financial or formal matters for three days. On the 6th of November, Mercury will be in a very favorable aspect to Neptune, so you will receive hidden messages in your dreams. So listen to your intuition, you will know the answers regarding your future and how to elevate your financial level as well. The same day on the 6th of November, Venus will have trine to Pluto. It means that your relations will become more intense and provocative. And if you will meet a new person, it will be a life-changing meeting in your life. Again, listen to your intuition and you can discover will it be a good impact or bad impact. On the 9th of November, Venus in Libra will enter your house 5, house of love and joy and your business, kids, your projects. In Libra, Venus means that you will try to find the order, the balance and the harmony in your personal life and your financial life as well. If you love yourself, you will attract more love. If you hate yourself, you will attract more hate. This is the law of these aspects. House 5 is also the house of children. If you're planning to get pregnant, it's a good time. On the 10th of November, Mercury will be in square to Saturn. It means that your emails can be lost, packages can be lost, miscommunication is very likely. That's why always ask if another person understood you correctly or if your email or package was received. Keep in mind that people will have tendency to respond to emotional to any criticism. On 11th of November, Mercury will enter your house 7. Mercury, house of communication, emails, contacts, transportation, certification, will enter your house 7, house of relations, family, other people, enemies. So here you might have news or you will have negotiations or maybe if you want to launch any programs it would be one of the, the best time for advertising and campaigns mercury is in charge of house of mind house seven house of people house of mind and house of people even conferences contacts congresses rallies maybe court maybe other events with many people on the 13th of november it will be new moon in scorpio in your house six and house six is house of health and uh, work so maybe you will receive a new job offer or maybe you will have a new boss maybe you will change the company or you will receive a new partner or you will start a new partnership there might be health issues that's why pay extreme attention to your health especially to reproductive organs i put it in my book moon in 
Scorpio makes our reproductive system very vulnerable. House 6 is also house of routines, regime and schedule. So it can be a new training cycle, can be a new routine. If you will start the project, most probably it will take two and a half years because we have the aspects in this house when Sun meets Mars in the same house of health and work, it will start the algorithm that will focus your attention for the next 2.5 years in that specific area. It can be changing of status, getting a pet, getting extra responsibility, starting the healing process of your digestive reproductive organs or systems or connected with hormones. Sun and Mars connect once per two years in different houses. That's why this is a wonderful time for you to get rid of bad habits, to start new cycle of training, to lose the weight that you wanted to lose, to change your habits. If you will get pregnant, it will change your status. So it will change your schedule because of a baby in the family. Or maybe you will take a puppy and it's extra responsibility. House six is also house of vet clinics. And maybe you will start a treatment for your dog and it will take two years for recovery. There is another aspect I wanted to mention. On the 20th of November, Mars will have trying to Pluto and it will make you focus better. If you want to achieve high results in your research, use 20th of November for motivation and for research but be careful on the 23rd of november sun will have square to saturn it means that you must perform your duties not to avoid responsibility and have patience on the 23rd of november sun which is energy passion as well as mars it's a sexual energy passion sharp objects, extreme sports, activity, trips will enter your house seven where Mercury is already. So most probably you will go on a trip or you will plan a trip. Maybe you will have changes in your family or you will get married or you decide to get a divorce. And in this case, uh, it will take two years. Maybe you will start the new cycle of negotiations. In this case, it will take up to two years to finalize the merge of the firm or division of the branches of your business. There will be also an aspect from 24th to 26th of November. Mars will be square to Saturn. It will mean obstacles in the short term tasks. So focus on the learn term, especially if it's connected with finances or sport in a foreign land. Everything connected with foreigners or foreign lands, education or courts. On the 27th of November, it will be full moon in your sign, Gemini's, in zero degrees. It's a completely new cycle for the next 18 years. It will be completely new you. It's not just a new chapter. It's a new book and you are the writer. What do you want to write in this book? Start with self-love, first of all. So it's ending of the cycle, ending of the project that you probably started 18 years ago or maybe even half a year. If around June 18th you started something new because it was a new moon in your sign in Gemini, you planted the seed. And now on the full moon in the Gemini, you will see leaves and you will see the first results of your hard work. Also for many Gemini's ending of the old job and starting the new job. Some people will get a job connected with advertising, entertainment. It's a great time for athletes. They will have good luck in the competitions. It's a great time for changing status or your home. It's a great time for popularity. So if you want to become famous, full moon will bring you on the wave of fame to success that you that you really wanted. Some Geminis, they will get the job in the correction facility or on a cruise ship, something connected with isolation. It will bring them prosperity as well as new opportunities to grow financially and spiritually. I wish you a wonderful November. See you soon.